Jeremy Corbyn has refused to apologize to the Jewish community after the chief rabbi warned his failure to tackle the issue made him unfit to be prime minister. The Labour leader said he does not tolerate anti-Semitism in any form whatsoever and called it vile and wrong, but he declined four times to apologize to the Jewish community in a BBC interview with veteran journalist Andrew Neil. It follows a refusal by Chancellor Sajid Javid to criticize the Prime Minister for his use of language to describe Muslim women, after the Muslim Council of Britain accused the Conservatives of denial, dismissal and deceit with regards to Islamophobia in the party. Mr Javid struggled to explain Boris Johnson's use of words such as letterboxes and bank robbers to describe Muslim women wearing a veil, which he wrote in a column for the Telegraph newspaper last year. During the BBC's The Andrew Neil interviews on Tuesday evening, Mr Corbyn accused Chief Rabbi Ephraim Mervis of being wrong about part of his criticism of Labour's handling of anti-Semitism. He said, I'm looking forward to having a discussion with him because I want to hear why he would say such a thing. The Labour leader was challenged over Rabbi Mervis's allegation that Labour's claims it is doing everything to tackle anti-Jewish racism was a mendacious fiction. No, he's not right. Because he would have to produce the evidence to say that's mendacious, Mr Corbyn replied. He insisted he has developed a much stronger process and had sanctioned and removed members who have been anti-Semitic. Mr Corbyn also denied that the blight increased after he took over the party, saying, it didn't rise after I became leader. Anti-Semitism is there in society, there are a very, very small number of people in the Labour Party that have been sanctioned as a result of complaints about their anti-Semitic behaviour. But he repeatedly refused to apologise when asked by Mr Neil. We will not allow anti-Semitism in any form in our society because it is poisonous and divisive, just as much as Islamophobia or far-right racism is, Mr Corbyn said. Mr Corbyn insisted he had strengthened the processes since a written warning was given to a member who questioned the murder toll of the Holocaust. Chairman of the pro-Corbyn Momentum Group John Landsman, who is also a member of Labour's National Executive Committee, said some Jewish organizations have refused to engage with the party. Speaking to Channel 4 News, Mr Landsman said, a number of organizations in the Jewish community have unfortunately refused to engage with the leader himself. He added, look, I acknowledge the deep concern of the Jewish community about this but I think we are doing our best to deal with it, I really do. However, Shadow Defense Secretary Nia Griffith said th for more on this story, visit the news article link.